Hi everyone, Matt Gibson, Senior Executive Chef at Yankee Stadium. Today we're going to be making honey soy glazed ribs. No, Chef Matt, I'm making ribs today. Well then let's start, Mickey, good to see you. Well, thank you. How about this, how about you rub the ribs down and while you're doing that, I'm going to make the sauce. Sound good. All right, so what I got here for you is some red curry rub, I got some Thai peanut rub, and I got a little bit of salt. There's your ribs, there's your foil, you know what to do. Sound good. Now, what I'm gonna do, put a little of this. I don't know how you do your ribs, Mickey, but don't be shy with the season. Sound good. I like a lot of season on my ribs anyway. I do both sides. All right. Mickey, you're starting to make me nervous. I might be out of a job now. Well, look at that massage technique. Wow. Well, this is good to get the flavor. You wanna get it deep down into the ribs, you know, to get what we call that old hickory taste. How many times have you made ribs before? Well, we usually cook for all the holidays. And you naturally smoke these or cook these on a grill? Well, uh, some days a little, little bit of both, but mostly smoke. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a smoker in the stadium, so today we got to do these in the oven. Sound good. All right. All right, now that we got the ribs cooked, we're going to make the honey soy sauce to glaze the ribs. Great. To start that off, we're going to put a little bit of oil in here. We're going to take a little bit of garlic. You could stir that around. Right now, we just want to toast open the garlic, bring out the aromatics. Then, we'll take some soy sauce. I'm also gonna add a little bit of sriracha. You like it spicy? Uh, a little, a little spicy. bit, all right. Some sugar, some honey, small amount of sesame seed oil. Perfect. And then, we'll take a little bit of cornstarch, a tiny bit of water, stir this up. This is gonna thicken our sauce. Who does the cooking at home with you? Mainly, she does the cooking. Definitely, I'm the dish. You're I'm the, the dish, dish guy? Master. Yep. I see at home, I do the cooking and I also do the dishes. Correct. Yes. It's all about balance, right? Just like this sauce. You want to taste that real quick? Definitely. Be careful, it's going to be warm. Mm. Great. You did all right? Great job. I knew you would. All right, let's turn this off. We'll let this cool and we'll start glazing our ribs. Sound good. So we have our cooked and cooled ribs here. We've got this delicious glaze that you made. So we'll add some into the pan. And this is great, you could do these ribs the day before, you could do the sauce the day before, your friends come over, throw these on the grill, grill them up a little bit, start glazing them. Mmm, these ribs smelling great now. All right, I think we're ready to plate. I'm gonna plate this up, and if you don't mind, I'd love it if you just sprinkled all these delicious fresh herbs on it. How's that sound? Sound good. All right, these are some of my favorite garnishes. I think it helps with making this a, a nice fresh dish. So we have some fresh mint, some fresh cilantro, some scallions, both the greens, and the bottoms. These are some crispy shallots. You could buy these at, at any market nowadays. We make these here in house. And also some sesame seeds. Final stage, Mickey. We have these beautiful glazed ribs that Mickey made. I learned that you've got some real skills in the kitchen. So why don't you finish these off since you cooked them? Definitely. Put a little bit of it over there. Look at it, a little bit more. You're not only a good cook, a phenomenal baseball player, but you're an artist. There you have it, Mickey Rivers, honey soy glazed pork ribs. Cheers.